Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Violet today. And as you notice, I bought myself a little hat. <laughs> Just like I did in my Pokemon Scarlet a few months ago. It wouldn't be a Pokemon game if you didn't give yourself a little hat, right? Anyways, let's get a move on and enter Yuva Academy. Supposed to be meet up with Nomona here. Here we are! Welcome to Yuva Academy. Here, this here is the entrance hall. You can sign up in all kinds of classes at this behind me, and those halls off to the sides. These are different all different parts of the school. Of the school. Hmm. It's totally big enough to let loose a battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. You miss Nomona. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Nomona's high spirits helped that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nomona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hustling this kid, or excuse me, hustling this kid with the Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, she flexed on them and ran them off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help your fellow students. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nomana, do you remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles? Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. Child with an Eevee backpack, you say? Suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear that she's come to class at least. Ah, and Miss Nomona? If you'd be so good to report to Mr. Jacques about the, this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, you should be kept expressed of all such going on. You got it, sir. Ah, oh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A. Come on, I'll show you the way. Good morning, Mr. Shock. Oh, yikes. See the frame that's going on in the kids in the background? Or the students, rather? Hello, hello, everyone! We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, oh me! I want to hear the news! As I sit next to this low frame rate kid. <laughs> Anyways. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come in. Can I trouble you to first few words introducing yourself? Sure. Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. 
Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you. Alright then. Who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me! Me! Can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Hmm. Normally it would be all of above, but if I'm forced to choose one. I like battling with Pokemon. Really? Awesome! I'm totally the same! Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me! I have a question! He went to all the trouble to overrolling here, so spill. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Isn't it obvious? I want to be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. Well, excuse me. It's your seat, second row from the front. All right, you were the muffins. Being nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. It's not an academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Okay, it seems like the kids are back to your normal frame weight. <laughs> I'm liking that cutscene earlier. Right then. Wow, a lot of notifications. Welcome to the academy. Looking for Namona? Jack got caught to the staff room just now. Thanks for answering my question earlier. When class is in session, we tend to be in our best behavior. But our best still isn't that good. What? You want to talk to me? Yo, new kid. Glad to have you. Anybody else? Important to talk to you, no? Alright. Let's be on our way then. Discover something, huh? Okay. Hmm. I suppose I'll go ahead and look for Nomona first. Before I head to the cafeteria. Champion Amona, I trust you to handle this in my steed. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Oh, pardon me. Good eye. She sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La, La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got a cool, particularly, oh, <clears throat> cool, particularly coming out of her ears. She's, she's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in homeroom when I asked about what your dream is? Well, since your heart's ready, set on becoming 
really strong trainer, got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, Will. Oh, well. Hang on, though. I've got this whole spinal I want to give you. Here it goes. Trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on the eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is the special test. Champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a good dependent study thing we got here should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great! You get to leave school and go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was a treasure I found, maybe. I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I got a feeling I'll be able to get even stronger if you and I both are working at it. Let me go ahead and see the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Alright, Pokemon gym location has been added to your map. Here goes the Victory Road storyline quest. Give it some thought. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to people in this room. A lot of teachers here are really colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. Talk to. All right. I guess that's it. To the cafeteria it is then. All right. I heard in that in the other regions people like to eat rice covered in this stuff called curry. Have you ever heard of curry before? I sure have. Tried it. Tried spicy curry too. And that was an experience. Hope your studies are going okay. What do you have today? Oh. Hmm. A sandwich, depending what the meal powers it gives me. Hmm, so far I probably won't be needing these at the moment, so I'll come back for another time. When Rotom enters a microwave, it'll turn into Heat Rotom. I heard it, e it even changes types. I've been told there are Pokemon that camouflage themselves as fruit. You're not wrong. I encountered one of them before off screen. Arvin? Oh, oh, hold on. I'm gonna have a good meal to get some meal powers. Maybe that'll help my grades. 
I mean, even... <clears throat> I haven't even had first, and I already want seconds. Alright, let's talk to Arvin. Oh! Hey! So we meet again! You remember me, right? Oh! From the lighthouse? Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Look it right. All school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came off the way to school today just to talk with you. Our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Yeah, happy to help. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're greeting for or to? Well, this may come as a surprise, but in fact is I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm searching new recipes, researching new recipes that help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these herba mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Or eats them, excuse me. Now there are a total of five different types of herba mystica based on from what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once, they powdered to go get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it even boosts the immune system. These herbs seem like they were a real deal, only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. Meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sh springs. Because see, Titans are... Well, I think they're going to be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descend it further into Area Zero, we're going to catch a glimpse of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered what these compact world beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dolphin. Yet differences such as its textures and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate. To say something, nothing of the trends of iron. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I never hear the end of it if I went calling with that student council goal. But here you waltz up. You gotta help me out with this. You'll be perfect. Yeah, sure, dude. No, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it j there might be Titans in your map app for you. Titan Solaris has been added to your map app. Five total, huh? Alright then. Path of Legends storyline quest begins now.
Let's do a bit, and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Back of Stardust. I actually encountered one of those. Give the idea of some serious thought, please! And there goes Arvin. Alright then. Fruit makes it a, a delicious addition to sandwich email. Anybody else I need to talk to who is of importance? Or that's optional, rather? Doesn't seem to be. Right then. Let's go ahead and. Uh oh. My phone's ringing. <clears throat> Scuggy, right? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? My name is Castle Pia. Castle Pia. Did I say that correctly? Anyways. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that's the description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me. You know about Team Star, right? Yes? Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. And I refused to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Well, not like you have a choice, right? So, sure. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. So then, I'll leave you to it. Bye! Nandeska? What's that all about? Ah! Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You wouldn't want anyone else overhearing any personal information after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. And on you go then, young lady. Teen Star, you say? Ooh. Sounds sus as heck. Calling to the director's office, please. Once again. To the director's office, please. Huh. I was just talking to the director. Well then. Also be my be on my way over there. Uh. Okay, this is it. Thank you for coming. You've been enjoying your time here at Yuha Academy? Sure have. That was most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not 
I was simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. Now let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine is a rather serious matter that they would like to discuss with you. Ah, oh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Hello! It's nice to meet you. I am Professor Toro. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea at the site known as Area Zero. The professor here is in fact in gratitude of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. ID number mm, zero 05. C393. You're the student who travels with an unusual Pokemon Rhydon, is that correct? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Ah, oh, not that I don't mean to offend you, in fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? Oh, how good to see you're well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Rhydon is once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball is originally also originally mine. I assume you receded from a young man called Arvin? I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon itself. This is what I ask of you. Will you continue to look looking after Maraidon on my behalf? Yes, most certainly will. I do appreciate your agreement. Rhydon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on the form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain its cap the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you would get out of your phone. Excuse me, if you would please get out of your phone. I'll be in the regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then, I don't know. Could this Pokemon have its origin within Area Zero? Don't tell me you actually did it. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite at the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maridon. So, uh, anything else you gotta say, Director? Area Zero. Hmm. What are you doing down there, Professor? Nothing else here I could take a look at? Doesn't seem to be. Alright, let's get the 
make our way out of here then. Whoops. Hello? Excuse me. Oh, you're still here. Oof, getting caught in the director's office. How'd you land in, in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding. I knew it wasn't like that. Mr. Jock wanted me to show you the way to our school room in the school dorms. Your very own private room. Let's go! Check it out! Ta-ta! From today on, this is your room. Actually, it's as new as to me as it is to you. I've never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed? Looks comfy. And you must be pretty worn out from all of this stuff happening on your very first day, right? Hmm? A quick rest on the bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow. When you rest it up, then we can battle even more. Take care. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be staying for the rest of my academy life, it would seem. Can't go into the bathroom. This leads to the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. Mm, I guess I can't go in there yet. It's your own personal kitchen. It's your study desk. It's got plenty of handy space to put things to the side too. Sometimes um, when it comes to uh, Pokemon, I tend to like check out what's in these corners. You never know if they have like little hidden stuff. Ready to call it a day? You need rest if you want to be prepared for your new school life. Yes, I am indeed tired. Days quickly fly after you start your new life at Yuva Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Attention all students, day marks the beginning of the important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. It's time! You got enough? I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out in the schoolyard. Excellent, it seems that everyone is here. Well then, it's time to explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Ask each one of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have learned all much within the walls of our fine academy. 
But now is the time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Claudia's abundant nature, soaked in this rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. And learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. And when you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! Time for the great outdoors. <laughs> to <Tamaya. laughs> Come on, we're riding out. Cycles are interesting name. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Claudia is extremely dangerous. Entering in the violation of the school is, is the violation of school rules. <clears throat> what are you waiting for? Let's go! Wait, does the director have anything else to say? Let's try. Hmm, do you think everyone here heard my warning? With the students so full of vim and vigor, I find it hard not to worry. I'm sure all will be fine, Director Clawville. Alright, let's not keep them on the waiting. It's finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. The treasure hunt is a huge part of Beautiful Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making out our own adventures to see experiences Plaudea has got to offer. You could try to beat the Pokemon gyms, you could help our people in need, or you could hunt for real capital treasures if you wanted even. There's stuff we never learned sitting in the classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. You know I will, Ramona. Oh yeah? Valian can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone apps map app let you set your sub destinations? You can try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That get you on your way. Easy. You can try to figure that out already. <laughs> but thanks the moment. So how's that student council president? Give me your own friends. Insider advantage? Hey, eh? uh, Arvin? 
insider advantage? Jeez, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that she check out the gyms. It's up to her whether she goes. She's gonna have her hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after his champion rank. Me and her are going to be too busy visiting Lair's Titans and nabbing their Herb of Mysticus. And Syra? Don't go filling her head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite her along. It's still up to her whether she goes, right? Err. Hmm? Hey, your phone is ringing. Hey, kid. It's right here. It's about Operation Stonefall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's Grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And a heads up, the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go on ahead and add the bases locations to your phone the phone for you. Five total of the team star bases have been added to your map app. Hmm. Starfall Street storyline quest begins. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait a second, who are you supposed to be? And Team Star? Those punks sure are a serious hazard. They're not her problem. That's right. She's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to her to decide whether she goes or not. Well, isn't that what you said? Ramona and Arvin? How do you know Mike? I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off. Bye. Sayonara. What's that all about? I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. Got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. And if I keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start heading to the gym and start and training up the new Pokemon here. I'll send you a pic of the gym buildings to look like. Thanks. That's gonna be easy to remember then, I'm on it. Oh, and I know we've been running, running our mouths, but it's your call what to do. Go where you want, and do what you, you really, what is really you want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, it's gonna be my, uh. My big dream of tracking down the Herb of Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you an absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Ugh, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just came out because you said sandwich? <laughs> Oh, well, you're not getting one. It's 
seems like it just wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on? Oh! Press the plus button, jump onto a right on. You'll find you, you can get around more quickly. When your Maridon's back, you can press the B button to have her jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the plus button again to get off Maridon and walk. Whoa, it transformed! Now it really looks like some kind of weird cycles are. As long as you've got my ride on, you can go pretty much anywhere. Well, there is your soul cluster, or cloister, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search those Titan Pokemon, they say set out for the East Gate, or from the East Gate. But since she is actually heading to take on some gyms, I say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost east. Out east. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I head to the gym. See you around. Treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is held by an academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure of all on your own. Alright. This is where the real game begins. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to stop right there because I'm almost nearly an hour, you see. Uh, I actually, to be honest with you, I actually never seen how it looks like when you use Maridon. And Violet, of course. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to call it there. And I think next time, well, we'll, we'll see what we, what we can do, I can do next. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy. As usual, take care. And I will see you in the next video. GG. Sign out.